Hello everyone, in this video I'll be giving you a boss guide for Magista Tyrant of Slack Tide in another crab's treasure. So this boss is going to be very important that you parry it. Now parrying is not the easiest thing in the world, but I find that in another crab's treasure it actually works pretty well. So in order to parry you need to be inside your shell, and then when they attack you you're going to pop out. This will make all the difference because you can parry her attack there that she does with the claw, and then also the attack that she does with her little tea bag there that she hits you with. So you can knock that back at her and it'll deal a good amount of damage and posture damage be mindful of your shell's health though as you don't want your shell to break when you're trying to parry an attack now she does continually do that poison attack there where she throws up the poison ground i would just avoid that as much as possible and uh, try to get inside your, inside your shell whenever she's attacking so there's a good example of the parry of the little tea bag thing and it does a ton of posture damage so really one of the best strategies to work for in these bosses to try and get the posture to break so i was able to parry and then riposte there and we were able to deal good enough damage that we got her down to half now so this is all about just dealing the chip damage when you can get it you want to try and get at least a hit off every few seconds otherwise the posture is going to go back down so you can keep an eye on the posture bar there as it starts to deplete. You want to continually keep attacking. Now you can get a fish that will continue to attack her as a uh, stowaway, and that's something that will help out here. But I recommend using the pop can for fizzle because that fizzle attack can actually do a good deal of posture damage. And you just need to hit her four times with your fork in order to build up the posture damage. So... This boss is challenging at first, but the parry can get done pretty easily because her claw glows there whenever it's time to parry. Now, I didn't get the timing down pat perfectly on that. And in the later phase of the fight, you're going to not have the pillars there that can protect you, so you got to be playing to that as well. But just be mindful, she can reach at you from afar with that there. So it's best to kind of get in close. Whenever she does this attack here, I think it's best to run away. As uh, parrying it can happen, but it's a little bit more challenging. So it's just best to dodge for those ones. And it's getting close when you can to get close the gap and deal some damage. Then she'll, she'll continue to break there, and that's good. You want it to, um, rather than take your health bar for damage, it's better to use the shell. And if it ends up breaking, that's, that's that. But... Uh, don't get too overconfident, especially when you're she's down to low health. You want to keep your health because she can take you out in two easy queen quick hits. So it's best to play defensively for those times and parry whenever you can and get your shots in otherwise. And that's how you take that Magista Tyrant of Slack Tide in another crab's treasure. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please hit the subscribe button below.